Hello. Okay. Welcome to this uh, tutorial on using the uh, the Arduino Nano board to display animated eyes on an OLED display. Uh, this is the OLED display I used in this project. A very low resolution display, 64 by 128 pixels. A very low resolution, but a very low price. It goes by around two dollars on AliExpress, for example. And it sounds so interesting because it's a fast, it, it's a very fast display. So uh, as soon as you you write a value, a, a new uh, intensity value to the display, it, it updates really quickly and uh, there is no um, deters. So it's very interesting to make a, a quick project. Um, and this is the Arduino uh, Nano I use in this project. Um, I did order the uh, version that's not soldered yet, so the pins are not connected, are not soldered on the, on the board. If you do that, it's less uh, expensive, but you will have to, uh, with patience, uh, solder each of the pins on the board. I, this is, uh, well, it's, it's not that difficult, but you need to take your time to do this. Um, when it's done, though, uh, you get something cheap. So that was the main uh, goal of this project. So uh, to uh, to wire the uh, the board, you need to know where which wire goes where. So on the project page, I have made a schematic, but I've also listed the four connection that needs to be uh, done. So. Uh, let's do this together, okay? I've got already uh, four uh, jumper cables, jumper wire that we did are used to connect. So the first one is the 3.3, the 3 volts. It's uh, the second pin here uh, on VCC. So don't use the 5 volt. <laughs> you will uh, have a problem with the display. It's not made to handle 5 volts, it's 3, 3 volts, 3.3. Uh, once you've got the VCC 3 volt uh, wires, uh, you, well, you just do them one by one. Uh, next one I have is the, the ground. Um, the ground, uh, let's use a ground pin not too far from this one. Uh, there's one here. Okay, let's use that one. Like this. Uh, next is for the communication. Uh, you've got two pins to connect the SCL and SDA. So SCL. In my project, I programmed the SCL on A5. A5, which is over here. It's this one. And I've program the next one is SDA on A4. A4 is just beside A5. And plug that into the board here. And that's it. It's connected, ready to go. Our next part is uh, programming the, uh, the Nano. So let's go do that. All right, welcome to the next part of this tutorial. And now we're going to program the Arduino Nano that we just wired. Uh, to do this, we need the source code uh, from uh, the GitHub repository. Uh, it's over here. Um, you can find it from the web page if you go to intelr.ca. Um, follow the animated eye OLED, and you can find it here. Um, this is all you'll need, this address here. So copy that and let's go create a directory, a folder to, to put the code. Uh, I'll put it in dev. That's a folder I use for development. Uh, eyes, I'll name it Arduino. Okay. 
Uh, to clone the uh, GitHub, you just type git clone with the address, and that's it. You should have the code available here. Yep, that's it. Um, once you have that, you can start the Arduino IDE application. and point it to the code. Uh, let's find it uh, open. Dev Arduino OLED display. It's this here, control display. I can close the other one. Okay, so that's the code from the website. Um, we can try to build it. Uh, error message. Uh, you need to specify which board you're using. Uh, for this project, let's, okay, it's not plugged right now. So if I plug the Arduino in the computer, okay, you see, COM3. So it will be the COM3 interface. Um, it's the Nano, so you select Nano COM3, okay. So now you have the board, you can try to build the code. And first error is uh, I don't have the uh, library installed for the, uh, the display from other fruit. Um, let's add it. So uh, the fruit is GFX install, it's this one, install everything. Uh, I think it will fail because I don't have this one installed. You can try, but I get the error. Yep. Just add this one. Install. Install everything. Successful. And now we're ready. So just close the manage library. And it should work this time. <clears throat> I think I have everything. And done. Uh, if you upload that to the Arduino, it will start to run. And that's what I've got on my side. So the Arduino is rebooting. And I can see the animation starts. And that's it. Um, let me uh, prepare for the second, uh, third part of this video. I will try to... Uh, to use the Python script. Uh, Python script is just beside the Arduino code. I put it in the Python folder. Uh, it's here. So display control. Example, I don't remember what it is. So if I start Visual Studio code, that's what I use. I like it, but can use whatever you want to uh, to work in Python. So if I open Python here, display control. Okay, display is just the uh, uh, some uh, some helper function to to communicate with the um, the Arduino. Uh, so you specify. Uh, you, you start a serial communication with the Arduino and you specify then the, the index of the animation that you want. Uh, it will build a, a string that will be sent over the USB uh, serial to the Nano. So uh, A is for animation and then you specify the number so it will add the, uh, add the number of the animation that you want. So this is on the, the Python side. Uh, I've got the same switch case on the Arduino code. So we can try that right now. Uh, if I open the example, I think that's where I've put the, the rest. Uh, we can just try to run this. And it fails, I don't have installed the uh, the serial library 
I think it's pie cereal, but I'm not sure. Let's try this. Okay, uh, and if we do this again, it works. So it will send each of the uh, the animation one after the other. And that's it. Thank you for watching. You can check the other projects. Uh, there's one with uh, a much higher resolution color LCD display. It does about the same thing, but I ran into some some problems of flickering. Uh, it was uh, more challenging, let's say, than uh, with the OLED display.